Well, people across the Big Bend area experiencing that direct hit from Hurricane Adalia. Yeah, let's get out to Fox 35's David Martin. He is live with an up-close look at the aftermath. Good evening, David. Hey, good evening to you. Evening already. My goodness, the day has gone long. Hey, uh, Luann and John, I'm with Michael and Braylon here, residents of Crystal River. Boys, you all okay? Yes, sir. So what, what have you seen so far? Just a lot of flooding. Yeah. And what are you at the moment doing for the residents? Uh, trying to get my sister's dad. You got people stranded in houses? Yeah, and animals. And, and animals. And the plan is to get them in that boat? Yes, sir. Okay, All right. Go ahead and interview him. I apologize. You go do your thing. Yep, we're going to join you. Run off and get that boat. It's a fluid situation here, Luann and John, because what's happening is the Crystal River is rising by the minute. And we're going to put that boat in at the dock, smart move. And they're going to go in and get these folks in from the riverside, I presume, as much as they can. But a lot of the streets look like rivers, and they're as deep in some cases. We just can't get that boat into the water uh, via the street. So they're going to move it into the dock. It's been a... An interesting morning here in Crystal River. A lot of folks were caught by surprise. They thought they were they dodged a bullet, and then this happens, and now they're stranded in their houses and looking to get out because we don't know what the next five or six hours hold. Some locals tell me the water will recede as fast as it came in. Others not so sure. So this is one of those things where we just have to wait and see. We're going to get in that boat shortly, so check back with us, John and Luann, when you can, and we'll let you know how we're doing out here in Crystal River, Citrus County.